Hi everyone, it's Carrie Cudney back to show you square number three of the Every Last Detail tray. This is square number three and it's actually, I'm going to kind of break it down into four parts. This is probably one of the more complicated squares. And the four parts are we've got the fence, then we've got the flowers and the grass, we've got the background, and we've got the birdhouse. So let me show you how to create each of those. And kind of the product that I want to highlight is shimmer paint. You can see a little bit of shimmer in the background there. So the first part that I want to show you is the fence. And the reason I'm starting with the fence is that I'm going to use a little bit of white craft ink and it's going to take a minute to dry. So let me kind of move this out of the way. In your kit, you got a little piece of one of our wood sheets. And you need to cut this up into, just use your paper cutter, you need four pieces that are about three-eighths of an inch long, not quite a half of an inch. And these are going to be your fence posts. Then you need one piece that is an eighth of an inch wide, and this is going to be the post for your birdhouse. And then you're going to have about a half of an inch left over. And save this for square number five. That's going to be the tree trunk. Once you get all of your, your birdhouse post and your fence posts cut, we're going to whitewash them with the Whisper White Craft Ink. And you can use a craft spot and just kind of rub the spot, or you could rub your whole pad. I kind of think that the cleanest way to do it is to use a sponge and just kind of sponge the ink on like this. It just adds a fun little detail. It looks like an old whitewashed country fence. So it just adds a little bit of color and detail. This is what it will look like when you um, get it all done. You can see it's a little bit more white. And then um, two of your fence po posts you'll leave whole. The other two you want to cut into smaller pieces. Not qu it's not quite six inches, so you can't quite cut it at two inches, but maybe about one and seven eighths of an inch. And once you get them to that point, then just use your snips to kind of angle the top so it looks like a pointy little fence. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not measuring because an old country garden fence wouldn't be perfect. And then you'll just kind of line these up. I actually used a piece of grid paper. Let me bring this up and kind of show you um, the grid paper. And then you can kind of line your two long ones along one of the lines. And then you'll use five of the shorter ones. And if you use your grid paper, you can make sure that you get them all straight. And also, like I mentioned, these aren't quite six inches long, and the frame is six inches. So you can kind of see that I lengthened it a little bit by putting the two end fence posts. Um, they kind of overlap where these long ones go. And I just used mini glue dots to attach um, the wood sheets to each other. And that's how you make the fence. So we'll set that aside, and let's work on the background. Kind of move all this out of the way and I'll turn this over. So we start with a clean sheet. The background, I've already started a little bit. This is pool party and I used the cute little four petal flower from the Best of Everything set just to kind of stamp some flowers, get us started. And now we need to make the clouds in the sky. And to do that, I use the sheet from the Mary Medleys on board. And you want to punch out three clouds, one of each size. There's the big one, the medium one, and the small one. And the clouds that you punch out, make sure to save because we will use these um, in the next couple of squares. But for this one, we're just going to use the large sheet as a stencil. And I'm going to use frost white shimmer paint. We have three colors of shimmer paint. We have the frost white, and we have the platinum, and the champagne mist. And these, out of our detailing pro products, we've had shimmer paint a little bit longer than some, like the smooch spritz or the smooch pearlized accents. So you, um, you might know a little bit more about shimmer paint than some of the other ones. It is a paint. So you can use it on wood or fabric or different porous surfaces. You can see I'm just using a wedge of my Stampin' Sponge to kind of get into all of the corners and create that cloud. But shimmer paint's really fun. You can color it by um, mixing it with a re-inker, or you can um, 
paint it on your whole project. The first two pr products I showed you, the, the pearlized accent and the dazzling details, are they have a fine tip lap applicator, so those are better to use when you're just doing a small image. The shimmer paint is better to use when you're doing a large area or want to cover a large surface. You can use a paintbrush, a blender pen, an aqua painter, a sponge, anything like that. So you can see I did the first cloud, and then I would come back in and do the other two clouds. They're really light, but I just wanted that soft little shimmer, so it looks like a summer sky. And then I took my sponge and just kind of sponged around like this to give me the, again, a little bit more shimmer, but just a fun cloudy sky. So that's the background. Now let's set this aside and work on the flowers. Two of my favorite kind of summer flowers are hollyhocks and sunflowers. So that's kind of what we're working with on this. First I'll show you how to make that fun little hollyhock stem. You need a piece of floral wire, maybe four inches long, and this is 18 gauge. I'm using white because that's what I had at my desk, but you um, could use green as well, so it looks more like a flower stem. And you'll need to cut out or punch out five small heart punches. And I've just curled the ends of my heart over with the round tool from my distressing toolkit. So those are going to be my leaves. And then you'll need five um, of the four petal flowers punched out from the Calypso Coral polka dot paper. And I just kind of bent up the, the four petals to give it a little bit more texture. So now I'm going to, we're going to start with the leaves, and I have them, you can see I already have them attached to my mini glue dots. I'm just going to attach this one at the very top of my floor, floral wire and just kind of pinch it like that. And I'm going to do that with all five, kind of rotating around so all of the leaves aren't on the same side. Whenever I'm working with flowers, I try to work in odd numbers, like five or three I just think that design-wise, it looks better that way. And try to pinch that around. And then it's going to look pretty no matter which way you're looking at it. This one down here. And then I still have plenty of length down here to use to attach it to my frame. And then I'm just going to kind of attach my flowers on the inside of those leaves to cover up the wire. You don't have to be really um, careful about what kind of wire you're using. Really any gauge will work, whatever you have. And then one more flower up here at the top. I just think that's so fun and it looks like a little hollyhock that you would see growing in a country garden. Now for the sunflower, I used one of our flowers from the Triple Blossom Punch. And to give it a little bit of texture, I spritzed it with some water get that really wet and then you just kind of want to crumple it this is really fun to do to get your cardstock wet and you can kind of mold it and when it dries it will dry um, hard and keep its shape and then those petals I just kind of pinched because I wanted them to look more like a sunflower with the pointy petals and then once it's dry it will look something like this the center of the flowers, you could do a brad, you could do a rhinestone. Um, what I did was cut or punch one of the circles from the bitty punch pack and just use another piece of cardstock for the center and I'll show you that when we're all done. So now, and I did three of these, three sunflowers and two hollyhock stems. And then you'll have a piece of Lucky Limeade polka dots and just trim that into tiny strips with your paper cutter and then run those through the crimper and then that will be the grass. Okay, so there's three of the parts. The last one was the birdhouse. This one's really easy. You'll get this one from your, your Mary Medley on board too. Down here in the very corner, there's two of the small houses. So punch out one of those. And then you'll have two little pieces in your kit. The pool party, you want to cut in half diagonal and set aside one half because we're going to use it on the kite in the next square. And then this part, you'll just use a pencil to trace around your house. And then same thing with this. Use a pencil to trace around the bottom. And then you'll just attach those two pieces. I use the multi-purpose liquid glue. And then I have a little bit of a 
paper ruffle that was left over from square number two on the very vanilla. And then you'll attach it to your post. This is um, an early espresso brad that I cut the legs off of and just use the glue dot to attach the brad. A knot of the pool party ruffle ribbon and the little tag I made by using this piece from the Best of Everything stamp. I markered the For You in Pool Party and the little heart in Calypso Coral and then punched it out with the jewelry tag punch. So that's how you create the birdhouse. And then let me show you the finished one one more time so you can kind of see how all of the pieces come together. I attached my fence with glue dots to the frame. Attach the, the background piece first and then your fence. You can kind of, I just again put a glue dot down here on this ledge to put the, um, the hollyhocks. And then I used glue dots to attach the flowers and then a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue and just kind of crumpled up the grass kind of wherever you feel like it needed to be put. The birdhouse, I did a triple stack of dimensionals on the back of it so it would kind of pop off of the background a little bit. Um, so that's it for square number three. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about shimmer paint and we'll have fun putting the square together and we'll see you back here for square number four. Thanks.